It's day number 11 and we are going back to finances and we're going to be looking at a working capital report in Excel. And to start we have this, but also we have this report. And looking at the clustered column chart, we can see that we're actually showing only actuals up until August. We can tell this because after August, the actuals pretty much disappear. And then we can see we have forecast, which is supposed to take over. Now, the problem is that this logic is not incorporated into the native visual. So just like we said, the actual pretty much just disappears and the forecast is then supposed to take over. Now, because this logic is not incorporated, you are left on your own to do this math in your head and understand what the visual is trying to convey. So the way of improving this is putting the logic into the visualization itself. One way we can do this very effectively is going by the international business communication standards and use colors and patterns to color code and pattern code our different scenarios to make them clearly differentiated by the user. Now, we can use Zebra BI to help us do this and give each of the color and patterns an actual meaning. So not just use the colors any way we want, but actually use them in a way that they have meaning. Now, as you can see, we can easily differentiate where our actual stop and where our forecast begins. And also we've added a lot more to the visualization by visualizing the actual and plan numbers and the variances between them. So we can tell at a glance whether our working capital is reaching our planned numbers. Underneath we have a second visualization, a line chart depicting our days of sales outstanding. Now, before we take a crack at it, let me bring in the initial visualization so I can show you how confusing colors can make your reports. First of all, if we look at the custom column chart again, we can see that actuals were colored dark blue. And now if we look at our second visualization, which is practically just beneath that one, previous year is now actually dark blue. Now tell me, did you notice this from the beginning? I bet you didn't. And this is exactly why standardizing your reporting with the colors, with the formatting, with the logic, with everything is really important. And not just inside of one report, but all of the reports. So all of your reports, dashboards, anything that you produce as a report inside of your company, standardization is the way to real clarity. We will also visualize the DSO with Zebra BI charts and uh, we will get rid of the table underneath because we can use the automatically calculated and visualized variances by Zebra BI to input all of this data straight into the chart. So we just move the logic right into our visualization. Now, since we have a little bit more room, we can also add some comments explaining our biggest deviations. And we can use comment markers to specifically point, pinpoint exactly which data point we're trying to explain with them. This is going to give us more clarity and better understanding of exactly what's going on with our DSO. And now for the plain data table. We meet again, old chap, but sadly will have to be deleted as data tables can be a pretty complex way of showing data. If you look at the table, you can see that we have negative numbers in brackets. This is a very financial thing and most people that are not from finance will not just understand this. Visualizing something like this with Zebra BI charts now will give us a better representation and better clarity of this data. Especially if then we also visualize our variances, getting a clear representation of whether we're saving money or actually spending too much of it. We will also be better able to tell if this kind of behavior will continue since we will be visualizing our trends and visualizing them makes them a lot more clear. Now at this point, we can also mention that we can change or invert the variance for any of our KPIs in our small multiples, like accounts payable here, since accounts payable being higher are actually better. For the last thing I need to mention or want to mention is that in our small multiples, all of the charts are scaled to the same scale. This means we can get a better understanding of the relationship between our different KPIs. And we're done! Find the best way of understanding your working capital in the description below where you can download the template completely for free. And come back tomorrow because 
Well, sadly, it's the last day of our 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers. 